hi guys uh, today we are going to discuss on how to install manage server on remote machine so my admin server is available on 129 sir 129 um, server and I'm going to install my manage server on 128 so first I need to start my node manager okay so let me try to start my node manager it will be available under middleware under WLS server bin uh, I mean under uh, server bin okay here you will get the command start node manager.sh so I'm just starting uh, node manager.sh and, and uh, I'm just trying to check how how this is going to start Okay, first we need to do one thing, we need to change one property here on node manager dot properties. So, so we need to do that one once uh, it came up. Let's see. So this is my node manager configuration. So these all are my default code. So I'm not using uh, SSL certificate right now, so I need to mark it as false. Okay, this one I need to mark it as false. So let me go and uh, update this file. Sorry. So let me go and update this file. Uh, this file is available under this folder. Let me try to access. So you need to uh, update node manager dot properties on my uh, remote machine. Okay. So whatever communication is going to uh, uh, going to happen on your admin server to your managed server so for all this communication or whatever configuration uh, you may see on config.xml file updates uh, file updates is going uh, is going to uh, update from admin server to managed server using this node manager port okay that's the reason my node manager is very crucial in, um, important configuration one while you while you are going to configure manage server okay so even in your admin server uh, you need to start manage server why because uh, I mean uh, you need to start node manager why because these node managers is going to communicate with each other and all the configuration files is going to uh, travel using this course and also the health checks your admin server is going to uh, monitor all the server health checks using this node manager dot property so under node manager dot property if you are right now we are not going to use any SSL uh, related certification related uh, property so I'm going to put it as fast and just I'm going to save this file okay so I'm, I'm going to uh, now I'm going to stop my node manager service and I'm going to start again I mean I'm going to restart my node manager property so I'm going to kill hyphen high okay so once this process uh, uh, killed you again need to restart your server I mean you need to restart your node manager node manager service is available on under WLS server there is a server bin you will get here no hub dot slash start weblogic dot sh and this is if you are going to give n symbol this service is going to run on background so uh, you will get prompt but still this service is going to run in a background set this no hub is just like uh, whatever output file is going to write on this on this script so everything is going to write under no hub dot out file okay so these two command uh, these two parameters is useful um, um, so uh, useful why because uh, if you are not going to give this one so it will gonna uh, it will uh, it will gonna right here and this console is I mean you you will not get this prompt if you are going to give as control Z so that process is going to kill that's why if you want to run in a background side you just use end symbol if you don't want to write everything on here so that time you need to give as no hub so that uh, output file is going to redirect it to no hub dot output file okay so anyway 
um, in my uh, managed server or my remote machine which is on 128 so I created uh, I, I mean I started node manager let me go and create let me go and create uh, from the admin server let me try to create manage server from the admin console so let's see how it how it is going to work so first click on servers so under servers you need to create your manage server so I already created on this environment uh, let me remove everything and I will show you again Okay, uh, first you are going to uh, create any managed server. So first time you need to, uh, even let me delete this, I will show you. So first while you are going to create any managed server, you need to create machine also. So the main purpose of uh, creating machine uh, is, uh, so first I will create managed server. Let me explain you clearly. First, I am going to create manage server. You can give whatever name you want, and this name is unique on your entire, uh, I mean, your entire domain. So I am going to give my IP address here. Even if you if you, if you uh, don't provide anything, no problem. Just for reference, you just give this IP address, and here I am providing a port number. So this also should be unique on this remote machine. Okay, and you just click as next. Right now we are not going to create any cluster. So once you just you just click as finish. But if you are not going to create any machine, your server will not start. Let me show you. So you just created manage server using IP and port. So let me show you. It may not start. Okay it will ask you so see here it will ask does not have a machine associated with it so that means you need to create machine why because so my node manager is going to run on my machine component so for communicating between my admin server and any of the remote machine this communication is happened through node manager and this node manager properties we are going to configure under machine okay so I'm just, I'm just going to create machine here so let me create machine here so just click as new and here you can give machine name whatever you want or you can give IP address also that is not a problem right now I am putting just as other no issues with this and here you need to provide IP address so this is very important it is going to um, uh, uh, communicate using this IP address and this port also unique you should this port also unique obviously these are uh, default by your uh, node manager so obviously this port may not be available okay so for each machine or for each remote server we have only one uh, manager I mean one node manager so anyway so this port is unique and this IP address is uh, you need to provide your remote machine IP address and here there is a couple of different types of communication something like SSH RSH plain and SSL so I'm just going to use as plain uh, I don't I don't have any SSL certificate right now so I'm just using a plain SSH RSH also you can use whatever you want but for plain is uh, uh, simple communication so let me show you just I'm just clicking as finish okay now we just activate this change now you can go and lock and uh, lock and edit and click on server 
and here you need to add your machine so here you need to add your machine name and just click as save okay just activate your changes so now go under servers click on controls just try to start your managed server let's see uh, what the issue uh, the node manager associated with machine 128 is not reachable uh, so let me check on my remote machine first you need to block your firewalls okay so I am trying to block my firewalls here so I uh, so now this is a, a learning session that's why I'm just stopping IP tables from here but in real time scenario you've got firewall engineers uh, you can ask them they will gonna block uh, specific uh, ports whatever ports you are going to use something like triple five six and seven zero zero one Okay, now you can drive. Yeah, now you are able to start your server. Okay, so this, this is the way you can create your managed server on, on any of the remote machine, not only a single machine. This is the installation um, uh, is for the uh, uh, horizontal cluster even uh, like this you can create horizontal clustering also on next session I will explain you how to create uh, different uh, I mean a different managed server of remote machine and how to create a horizontal clustering and vertical clustering I will explain you on next session thank you guys so once it, it will come to running state I will show you the paths where it is going to uh, I mean where it is going to locate and how it is going to create managed servers on, on my remote machine. So meantime I will uh, I will just show you the folders it is going to create on my remote machine okay. So this is my remote machine so let me go and show you to Oracle middleware under here you have a user projects under domains you have one domain under one domain you need to check under servers so here you will get your managed server one ms1 we created ms1 right now so all the uh, I mean all the server related uh, files is going to store here something like security which is related to your booter properties file so that information also uh, your admin, I mean your console is going to update using your node manager. Uh, I mean using your node managers. So everything is going to update. So see the, my server came to running state. And one more thing uh, on your remote machine you can uh, check logs. So here you will get ms1.out. You can dial or you can uh, view your logs whatever you want so this is your managed server I mean this is your server related log on remote I mean on remote machine so you can check the server logs from this path okay under domain 1 servers ms1 is your managed server right now we created under logs uh, your log is going to generate thank you guys thanks for watching if you have any questions uh, please comment out Thank you.